Hello, today we are going to learn about constraints. So here in this session mainly we concentrate on how to create a primary key and how to create a foreign key constraints in the fresh table as well as in existing table. Okay, so before going to the topic, if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please do subscribe. Now let's start the, uh, first I will show you in a fresh table how to add a primary key and foreign key constraints. Okay, create table. So I'm going to create here new table called uh, something like C underscore example. Okay, so here I'm going to create a C underscore example underscore column. Sorry, underscore ID. It is a column. Okay, so the data type will be like a numeric. Okay, mm, you can give numeric only. A anything where care also you can give. Okay, so here uh, mainly the primary key. Uh, we have to give it as a mandatory so that we will uh, give the uh, I mean we will add a constraint as a not null constraint as well for primary key okay so both we can give primary key okay so here this is the spelling okay now some other name column we are going to give here where of something like that you can give 23 just I am given uh, size of the column so here for foreign key I am going to take it as a employee ID as a foreign key in the C underscore example table ok so here so this data type should match with the uh, what in the employee table uh, column ok so let's now and then references will give references employee so on which table right on which table employee table of employee id column we are going to create a foreign key ok so just execute this what happened employee id id or incompatible data type see i told you right the exact data types we have to give otherwise it won't accept it ok so here this is integer not in numeric so we have to give integer this is an example for that see here query return successfully right so now we will draw this existing uh, primary key and foreign key constraint and then we will freshly add uh, I mean foreign key and primary key constraint into this existing table okay so for that the command will be like alter table c underscore example okay and then drop constraint so the constraint name we have to give here so example sorry c underscore we have to see here just refresh here c underscore example right so constraint name what it is it is like c underscore example underscore p k e right example underscore p k e y okay just execute this query written successfully just refresh once this and look into here see the primary key constraint got deleted now foreign key also we will remove same way example underscore emp underscore id underscore f key ok just remove this let's get this and refresh you see here there is no constraint in this table now we are going to add a primary key and foreign key constraint into this existing table ok so for that the command will be like alter table add sorry c underscore example table ok add constraint we have to write here constraint and then constraint name c underscore example underscore pke like this i will give ok so here primary key of so on which column we are going to create a primary key c underscore example 
underscore id this column right so just execute this okay so now you can just refresh this and look into this constraints see primary keyword created now the same way foreign key also little bit syntax will get change here is the name i'll give the same name here for a foreign key name okay and instead of this we just give like foreign key foreign sorry foreign key okay so here foreign key on which column of uh, uh, example table emp underscore id right so emp underscore id okay and references which table employee table of employee id right so references on employee table of eid column okay so this is the example for foreign key constraint adding in existing table just execute this what happened emp underscore id okay sorry here we have to give braces okay just execute this so query written successfully refresh this now see here it got created right so this way we are going to create we have created foreign key and primary key constraints into the existing table or as well as in the fresh table also so i hope you guys understood well so if you like this video please like uh, share and comment if you have any queries in the uh, in the database related uh, things and also please do subscribe if you are visiting my channel for the first time thank you so much